Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we have been designing the Apple navigation menu from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And this is going to be the last video in the series where we'll be adding the animations for the mobile version. So let's get started. Alright, so this is where we are right now. When we click on this uh, menu button, we have the menu displayed over here. And uh, when we click on this uh, search input field, we have the quick links displayed over here. And when we click on the cancel button, it goes back to the menu. And when we click on the close button, the menu closes. So this is our progress as of now. Now let's go ahead and add the animations for all the elements. So let's go to the CSS file. The first thing we will do is add the animation to the desktop nav. So when we click on this uh, menu button, the desktop nav is being displayed over here. So let's scroll up. And here we can see we have the styles for the desktop nav. And here we can see that when we add the active class to the nav container, we are adding a height of 100 viewport height to the desktop nav. So we will add a transition over here. So let's type transition. And uh, we'll set a transition for all to 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. And uh, let's set the easing function to ease. Right now let's click on this menu button and see whether we have the animation. And we can see that the animation is working all right. The next thing we will do is add the animation to this link bag. So let's scroll down. And here we can see we have the CSS for the link bag. And when we click on this menu button, we are moving the link bag down a little bit and also setting the opacity to zero. So let's set the styles for the link bag before the active class. So I'll just copy this selector from here. And uh, we'll just remove the active from here. And let's set the transition of all to 1000 milliseconds ease. Right now let's check it out. And we can see that the animation is working for the link bag. Now let's set the animation for the mobile search container. So when we click on this uh, menu icon, we can see that it is being displayed in a flash. We want to have some animation. So let's scroll down and uh, here we can see we have the CSS for the mobile search container. And let's add a transition of all to 600 milliseconds ease. Right now let's test it out. And now when we click on this menu icon, we can see that uh, there is the animation for the mobile search container. But the animation will look good if we move this uh, search container down when we are animating it. So for that, let's add some margin. Now here we can see that we have added a margin of 10 pixels over here. So let's remove this from here and add it to the selector with the active class. So let's paste it over here. And uh, here we will add a margin top of let's say negative 30 pixels. And let's see whether it works. And uh, we can see that it looks all right. We'll also add some opacity over here. So here we will type opacity of zero and in the active class, we will set the opacity to one. Right now let's test it out. And we can see that everything looks all right. All right now the next thing we will do is add the animation to these menu items over here. So let's scroll up and uh, let's take a look at the CSS. So here we can see we have added some CSS to the anchor tags. Now by default, we will position these anchor tags a little bit to the top. So let's type transform, translate Y, and we'll set it to negative 80 pixels. And uh, let's add some styles for the active class. So let's type nav container dot active, and we'll type desktop nav LIA. All right, so when we have the active class in the nav container, we want to add these styles to the anchor tag. So we'll set the transform translate Y to zero pixels. And we'll also add some opacity over here and we'll set it to zero. And here we will set the opacity to one. And we also need to add transition. So let's type transition and I will set all to 700 milliseconds ease. All right now let's test it out. So let's click on this menu icon and we can see that the animation is working for the menu items. All right now the next thing we will do is add the animation to the cancel button. So when we click on this input field, we can see that the cancel button is being displayed over here. So let's add a transition for that. So let's scroll down and search for the cancel button CSS. 
and here's the CSS for the cancel button. So here I'll just type transition and we'll set all to 400 milliseconds ease and let's test it. So let's click on this uh, input field and we can see that the cancel button is being displayed and we also have the animation. Now we also need to add the transition for the nav element. So when we click on the search input field, we can see that it is moving up. So let's search for the nav. And I think we don't have any selectors for the nav. So let's add one over here. So let's type nav animation. And here we'll just type nav container nav. And we'll set a transition of all to 400 milliseconds ease. Now let's click on this input field. And we have the transition for the nav element. Now let's add the animation to the quick links. So here we can see the quick links are being displayed over here when we click on this uh, input field. So let's scroll up and here we can see we have the CSS for the quick links. So here I'll just set a transition of all to 400 milliseconds ease. So let's test it out. And we can see that the animation is working for the quick links. We'll also add some delay for the animation of the quick links. So when we have the active class, we will set the transition delay to 40 milliseconds. So here we can see we have a little bit of delay when we click on this uh, search input field. I'll just make it some bigger value so that we can see the delay. So let's click over here. And we can see we have a delay of 1000 milliseconds. So let's change it back to 40 milliseconds. All right now the last thing we need to animate is this menu icon. So when we click on this, we can see that it is changing to a different icon and now it is changing to the close icon. We also want to have a transition between these two icons. So let's scroll up and let's go to the CSS for the menu icons. So here we have the CSS for the line one and the line two. Now let's add a transition over here and uh, let's type all to 400 milliseconds and ease. And now if we click on this menu icon, we can see that the animation is working. But we don't want this type of animation. So let's go to the Apple website and let's click on this menu icon. And we have a different kind of animation over here. So first of all, it is animating the translate property and then it is animating the rotation. So here we can see. So let's try to do that. So we need to have two different transition delays for two different properties. So let's remove this from here. And for that, we'll type transition property. And here we will specify the two different properties. Now here we are writing the CSS for when it comes back to this menu. So right now we are in this menu right here. So the first thing we need to animate is the rotation. So here we can see for rotation, we are using the transform property. So let's type that over here, transform. And the second thing we need to animate is the top property. So this one right here. So let's type that over here. All right, now let's set different transition delays for these two different properties. So let's type transition delay and we want to have zero milliseconds delay for the transform and let's add a comma. And for the top, we will add a transition delay of 160 milliseconds. And let's also set the transition duration and we'll set it to 200 milliseconds. All right now let's click on this close icon. And we can see that the animation is working all right for the close icon. Right now let's add the animation for when we transition from this icon to the close icon. Right now we don't have the correct animation. So let's click on this menu icon and uh, it is not being animated correctly. So let's copy these three lines of CSS and let's scroll down. And here we have the CSS for the active class. So let's paste it over here and we'll just type top over here at the beginning and then we have transform. Because when we animate from this icon to the close icon, first we need to add the animation for the top and then we need to add the animation for the transform that is the rotate. So let's copy this and paste it down here as well. All right now let's click on this menu icon and we can see that everything is working all right. We don't have any problems. So that's basically how you design the Apple navigation menu from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. All right now let's test everything out. Here we have the desktop version and when we hover over this, we have the white color for these menu items. And let's click on this search icon. And we have the animation for this search container over here. And when we hover over this, the color changes. 
and let's click on the close button and we have the animation for the menu items and also the search container is hidden let's click on the search container once more and now if we click somewhere outside the search container it is hidden so everything is working all right for the desktop version let's open the mobile version once more now here we have an issue when we switch to the mobile version we can see that there is an animation running for the desktop nav so let's go to the css of the desktop nav and here we can see for the desktop version we have set a height of 100 percent so let's remove that now it should work all right so let's switch to the mobile version and everything is working all right let's click on this uh, menu icon and we have the menu items displayed over here and let's click on this search input field and we have the quick links displayed over here so everything is working all right so that's it with this series where we have designed the apple navigation menu from scratch i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video i will also leave the link of the complete playlist in the description of this video and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day